So. And we are live Wednesday night with those guys. And Wednesday night with those guys is sponsored by those guys. You know, we got that down to an art. So it's that's good. Down to an art. We've been you know what? It, it is for me. That. For me, it, I, it, I don't, I have to get down the fact that there is a delay from me to you mm-hmm. when in the studio and I'm, and I'm pushing that. So <laughs> that's what I got to get. What's up, JSK? Evening, how are you? Bill, Coast to Coast Classic was here early, and Cool Bick left a comment like early, hey, early man. during the day. Coast to Coast. JSK. Let me turn this up a little That's bit. Good. So, Bill, Bill, Bill. You know so what? Honestly, I got a lot of, After all, live, of, all the hell I've been going through these last couple yeah. of days, does my audio at least sound a little better? I um, mean... you were- Cracking a little bit on my side, but I I don't know how it sounds. I am but well. I can what turn, I, was I can adjust you, that. I can adjust that now. Cool. So what, what about I was now? saying to you was no, you're fine. You're fine. Oh. What I was saying to you was that um, I got a few comments on the stream from people believing that they missed the stream, and I didn't understand that one. Um, they had uh left comments saying that, oh, sorry, they missed the stream. And I don't know if that was because you did that test um, <laughs> the other day. Was that I it? I think so. I think that's what and it was. People I really missed do. that and thought that they missed the stream. But no, they didn't. Tonight, this is the stream. This is the stream. Wednesday night with those guys. 99, the 99th episode of Wednesday night with those guys. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which is- so I've Hosted 99 Wednesday night with those guys. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, you have. So how's it going, Bill? You guys there in the chat, how's everyone doing this evening? Oh, it's hump day. How's everybody's hump day going? It's a nice day today here in New York. Fairly decent. Yes. yes, I even have the front door open. I'm using natural light today. You know, the last couple of... Oh, that's what that is. The last couple of days. <laughs> no, because I see the, the mic and the camera better without the light, the artificial light on it. Oh, yeah. You and know what? That's funny your, because I even have the lamp on. Yeah, see, when you turn that on, yeah, you don't see the computer in the back as well as you do. With, but, um, like you know, this. you're advertising on that bottle there. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, th- wow. Sorry about that. That's all right. But, um, yeah, you know, that's the thing. You know, so how's your day going? Um, pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to work out some audio issues, but that'll come along. Oh, I went to get my I went to get my first COVID shot today. OK. And I want to say I was cool up until the time where I felt like cattle being led to slaughter. <laughs> and 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 dude. I'm I'm 100% about getting it because you know I have al- already have ailing issues and have already had COVID and all of that. But when I went inside, you used to sing National Guard in New York. You see them all, right. all over at events and stuff, even patrolling the subways sometimes. Yes. But we went in first. There's a line outside. You know the gymnasium at your college. Well, yeah. that's what they that's what they're doing. And they turn into a medical center and they have this big white tent that stretches out for about a hundred feet. Mm-hmm. So you stand outside the line and you move in groups of about 25 to 30 mm-hmm. at a time. And you move, 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 and then you're inside the tent. Then you come out the tent and there's a guy going, for those of you here, this, you should only be here. This is your first time. If you come for your second shot, get out of the line. If you think you have COVID, get out of the line. And don't forget to floss your teeth. I'm like, okay, maybe. Don't forget to what? Little, don't forget to floss your teeth. So I'm like, well, okay, maybe he's trying to make the day go by fast or he's just an an idiot. So then as I move up further here again, those of you here today, it's got to be your first time. This time I'm closer. So I could see him. I could hear the bullhorn. I could see him. And I'm like, okay, he has to do this periodically. Let's see what he says at the end this time. So he says, those of you here today, it's supposed to be your first time. You're getting your first shot. You'll be able to come back on the 28th and um, and have your ID ready, blah, blah, blah. And what else? What did he say at the end of that? Um, Don't forget to use if you feel you're about to pass out, step over to me. 
So I'm like, all right, see, now he's trying to be a wife. He's trying to do it to make the day go by faster or make people smile. But then you get inside, you show your ID, and, and you have to have this thing on your phone with a check mark. You have to go to the website and click on it, and it has yeah, to have a clean check mark. Is the same way. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I had the check mark on my phone, and, and I had the paper. And she looked up my number and she put a check on it. So she says, go to that lady, show her the check. So I get to the lady and I say, which one? The green one or this one? She says, I need to see the one on the paper. So I show the paper. We get online, some more cattle, cattle. AZ you know, drone dudes. And hey, what's up, AZ drone dudes? So to make a long story short, I want to get inside. They play a video, which is a little discerning because they say this this shot may make you feel like this, 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 that, this, and, and maybe other, this would combine with that, and you other, know? And then they say, go get your shot. <laughs> so it may but, make you feel like this, that, and the other thing? Yeah, now they say, we're gonna make you sit here for 15 uh -huh. minutes. But okay, right, we're, right. Gonna, we're gonna have you sit here for 15 minutes, um, just in case you have any symptoms. If you do have any symptoms, they should come up in 15 minutes, but you can leave in 10. Okay. If you feel all right. So, so it's similar to like the blood drives, they did it over there. But yeah, yeah. at 8.13, I went to the chair and at um, 8.23, I stood up my 10 minutes. I stood up, I wasn't woozy or no, I feeling like I had to yak or anything, you know? And I walked yeah, out the door. the same way at the Javits. Yeah. No, but the Javits is just walk in. Did um, your college is appointment only now? For at least for Queens. Well, at least with, with the Javits, you can live that, anywhere in the city and go yeah, from but, what I understand. Yeah, but being as that they opened up everything now, I believe that um, I think after this week, I think anyone can go. The um, Hey, Brian I Ariels. Like age, I believe, of 16. Yes, it's Gary, what's up, man? Brian Ariels, what's good? What's good? Yes, it's 16 and above. You're right about that. Yeah. In fact, that was passed yesterday. Yes. Yeah. They plan, so, uh, they plan so to get everybody. I hope everyone's doing. How's everybody going? What's going on out there? Yeah. How's your How's hump day? How's everybody doing? How you guys I know there's a few doing? people here. It's still early. Yeah, it's still very early. Um. You know, I haven't heard from Tom. I sent him a link. Oh, um, well, check, check, just in case, check your um Facebook well, Messenger because I failed to before. Do that before Sunday, and he did yeah, send uh, a message saying that he would not be able to make it. But oh, I didn't. Well, I checked with after him. The stream. I checked before the stream, and I didn't see anything. Okay. Well, Zoom. See, I don't like this because your Zoom shows both of us on there. Oh, because I have the um the real Zoom. <laughs> you guys hear what I have to put up with? <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, I have the real Zoom too. Maybe I should install it and reinstall it or something, man. Because oh, maybe it's something in the settings. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Maybe got my vaccine appointment for next Tuesday. Good, good. I was just mentioning I got mine today, so. And my wife is about to come home any minute. I know she's she's gonna be like, so how do you feel? And I'm gonna be like, and start gagging. Whenever <laughs> she speaks to you, that I, I I can smell your brain. Whenever yeah. she speaks to you, huh? Whenever she speaks to you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not have some fun? Because uh, I, my my daughter, she's seventeen, and of course, my wife hey, was, Roger. was the first day here in New York. Hey, Roger was the first day here in New York that sixteen-year-olds and up. So, of course, the new the news had to catch sixteen-year-olds and interview them. You know, and you could obviously well, got a, mess a, couple, a couple of these kids that they interviewed that were sixteen years old were um well spoken. And, and we're in a high A plus average of their class. You know, I didn't see anyone from a local neighborhood or anything like that on the news, but my wife goes, hey, Kyla. Hey, my Asgard. Come hmm. check it out, come Good. see. What's up, Asgard? Come come check out, come check out. You see the 16 year olds, my daughter goes, I'm willing to take it, but I wanna wait a week. And I said, why? You wanna see if they turn into zombies first, right? <laughs> okay, Roger. 
Um, What's Bill, up? Bill, no, what happened is I got, I had an issue okay. with Zoom and I got to um, their technical people and I left some pretty spicy messages for them because of them not getting back to me. And I got a link that somehow fixed what my problem was. And Lawrence hasn't gotten an update or, not, or anything, but um, maybe I need to contact him. And um, it's for some reason it just won't give him uh, like a gallery view until okay, JSK. people are on. <laughs> yeah, until right until three or more people are on. I'm wondering what the hell is that. But that's but we we, we will figure but, uh, it out. You know. You know, I told you before, like, um, what was it? I was checking out um, The Verge, mm -hmm. and um, they were in, there was an article on The Verge on the 5th that said Yahoo Answers going to, you know, well, you know, they're part of Verizon um, Media Group. They're yes. going to be gone for good on May 4th. So after 16 years, they're saying bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so if well, you are going to nobody's using them it's, it's right that's what it is they've they've thing. it's google they've gone out it, of popularity and it, yeah you know they're gonna focus on other things that um to bring you know you know the content that they promised their customers and stuff you know on there but apparently you know like, like you said you know, over the course of the 16 years they fell out of graces with their members their so. followers their yeah. followers and and you want to know what i had i have an old yahoo email Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Tom? Well, that'll still yes, work me. as far as, you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, they, they're, uh, well, the, this other thing that they have here. That's, well, their mail uh, service is still very popular. Right. It was just their search engine that, that didn't do too well because if you notice, if you go to your settings in Chrome, Firefox, Linux, mm -hmm. whatever you want, they usually have search engines and the top two are usually Google and Bing. And then Yahoo is usually third or fourth. And then they start going down from there. And Yahoo, I never went to Yahoo to search for anything uh, that I couldn't well, find. On, on Google, that I could write Yahoo yeah. answer. I'm sorry. Yeah. That I couldn't find on Google and or Bing, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of. Okay. Uh, oh, so you want to know something very curious about uh, these search engines? What's is that? the fact that... Uh, the Yahoo search engine is uh, leverages the Google search engine. By the way, Yahoo is the secure search for Mac and me. So if you have browser guard installed, your searches are actually going through a Yahoo process. Uh, so, hey, they're all in bed together, dude. That's what it is. <laughs> they all got you focusing on other things. So, well, they, of course, they, they are on their attentions other way. And then, you know, like I was telling you before with uh, AUVSI and Skydio web, webinar <laughs> featuring, their new Skydio. Partner, featuring their new partner, uh, Axion, you know, they're going to be implementing uh, drones for police. So in this webinar hosted by AUVSI, they're going to be uh, featuring, like I said, their new partner, Axion, you know, and um, the web the webinar will be on the twenty first of April at uh, three p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they're going to be uh, having they're going to have speakers from public safety and uh, tech experts Axion and Skydio to discuss you know ways of implementing drones to uh, the police and uh, the public safety uh, sector. So that's well, I what think that it, webinar I think is going to be on. Uh, to be honest, it should be implemented to all police um, around the United States as well as the world. It's a technology that saves on manpower, wasted manpower, and, and a few a few other things. Mm -hmm. I mean, JSK, how are you, bro? Uh, you know, so I'll give you my thoughts on this. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah. April 21st is a sales Is my mic okay. echoing? What's it? Echoing? I didn't hear an echo. You don't hear an echo because no. as I'm actually watching the graph here. And as you guys talk, I thought my mic was picking it up. Oh, oh no, no, no. I, okay, don't, cool, I don't cool, cool. So a, 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 April 21st uh, webinar is a sales pitch, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. Expert speakers are from the two companies. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to sell a wrapper, basically, uh, to wrap around your data. 
and to serve you. Uh, so, so it's, you know, buy me a Skydio. That's basically what pretty much what it sounded uh, like. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's a typical sales pitch. Uh, we get dozens of these a week. Uh, come join us uh, freebies and then when I don't join them the following week I get oh we saw you had interest in joining us you know, uh -huh. it's like I, I didn't even respond to your email so that's a good one uh, but uh, but basically look uh, there there are a lot of departments out there that need help uh, with this uh, yeah. you know a lot of small departments need help with this and, and on the law enforcement side of this there's a great deal of complexity uh, to deal with with case law mm -hmm. and evidentiary uh, uh, submissions and stuff like that. So, you know, for uh, public safety on the uh, rescue, fire, EMS side of the fence, mm -hmm. pretty clear cut. Okay. No major issues there. Yeah. You might have some HIPAA privacy uh, issues, you know, but from a law enforcement side, Illegal search and seizure, subpoenas, warrants, you know, you name it, it can get very complex. Uh, so that's really where there's a lot of help that's needed. And I hope the information that's put out on the 21st is a little more than a sales pitch. True. Uh, so there are great organizations out there, by the way. Uh, and, and one of them I'm a member of called Drone Responders. Uh, mm -hmm. So Drone Responders is huge. I think they have about 33,000. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, members, but we're talking about uh, members in the community. Right. So drone responders, uh, you know, uh, Charlie Werner is uh, uh, a retired chief, fire chief, and uh, out of a, uh, a department in the Midwest. And he uh, he took this on several years ago. So he put together a good uh, a good crew, and it's a good cross section of the population. So. There, there, any any agency that's uh, out there might be uh, listening in, you know, and needs help with this, just reach out. Mm -hmm. uh, we can direct you all. But uh, drone responders is a good group, and they, they do yes, nothing they but handhold. Yes, they are. We got to actually have a story on them tonight. Oh, what do we? I'm sorry. I missed that one. We do? Oh. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been <laughs> off grid. I, I've been I have off to do grid that to Herman to every now and Hey, what's up, Drone Life? Yeah, How are you? I, I know. I've, I've been. I haven't been seeing you around. <laughs> no, and uh, Lawrence, I'm glad you got. I'm. I'm not sure when you got my text, but you want to know what? Uh, I. 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 And, and foolishly, I check everything except when I go live. Sometimes, if I hear something on Messenger from my phone, and and you had sent it. You had sent it in enough time, but I never went back to Facebook until after the stream. But right. but uh, we I and I and that's when I hit you back. I appreciate you letting oh, us. Oh no know. problem. I, I didn't see your stuff. text back. For, for hey Dave Innes. Days. Yeah. Hey Dave. Yeah, because I was cool, like, bro. yeah, Tom did respond, but I, I'm I'm glad things are well. I was like, well, well, he's probably out somewhere in the desert going. Oh, yeah, we were, <laughs> we were out beyond. It, it's you know uh, some might think otherwise, but I'm kind of finding it refreshing. Uh, from time to time to be completely off grid. Like the phone doesn't vibrate. I told Lawrence. You can look that at it all you want and it still says same thing, no service. Okay. Uh, I told Lawrence that when when we got locked down with COVID, I was like, everybody's using this as the time to get on YouTube even more. I'm gonna disappear a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you it was nice. I mean Stretch you know but, a but little bit. But exploring out there was uh, a blast. It's just, you know, mm -hmm. every time you turn around, it's something unique that you see. So pretty cool stuff. And this country, you, you can't realize, especially us New Yorkers, you know, stuck in the urban environment, but how oh. damn big, how damn big this country is. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I see Roger in the chat. Yes. Roger. So I made it. 99... Hosted Wednesday night with those guys. Yes. yes. 99, Roger. I made it. Roger so was, was the one that got me started standing in front of this damn camera or sitting in front of this camera and talking. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, Roger, I could always Roger. hold the camera, but I was never the guy in front of the camera until you. Yeah, Roger was like, yeah, <laughs> come on. Come and hang out. 
<laughs> but um, like I said, this is 99, and I told everybody for 100, we had a giveaway. And we got some stuff to give away. Not today, but for the... What's up, Dave episode. Ennis? And uh, got a few things. You know, I told you, well, Lawrence told me to throw in the filter. So I'll throw in the filter. But I have two lanyards. If anyone has the smart controller, got two okay. lanyards to give away, you know. All right. And this uh, boom here for the microphone stands. So if anybody's oh, very nice. interested in doing their own live stream and getting something going, they can... They got a stand for their microphone and some headphones. If anybody's, you know, you know, like I said, if anybody wants to get started in doing this, Roger got me started. I'm gonna get somebody else started. So if anybody's interested in these things, like I said, in the the uh, comment section of this stream, you can leave a comment and you can say whatever you want as long as it the word congratulations is in it. You can leave a comment. You can say even congratulations, jerk on 100. <laughs> if you feel like it. <laughs> but it must say congratulations in, in your comment. You can even just leave congratulations. And uh, do your best at spelling it properly. Okay. Yes. Um, Stevie just hit me up to say that he could not make the stream tonight. And he apologizes. And I'm like, dude, dude, it's all good. Okay. What country is he in? There will be more. Yeah, you know? yeah, right? Where is he? I should have hit what him. What satellite there. is he bouncing off of right now? Yeah, right. I should have hit Dave, him in the, in the comments section below the, 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 the stream. What not, country not are you chat. in now? Not in the chat. Not in the no. chat. Yeah, comments. In the comments section below. I hit him back, Tom. Okay. What country are you in now? <laughs> 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 yeah, Stevie's a good person. Recovery one, how are you? Can I put it can can I put it one box so I don't have to keep looking for the UPS guy? Can you put yeah, it? Yeah, you won't you won't you won't have okay. to recovery well, drone well, unless you leave that same comment in the comments down below. Yes, when but and you so can't you won't do have it to worry until the stream is over. Okay. Let, let me explain this to you. There's a few things going to go on. I and, I and I forgot to mention this. Just like with Lawrence's giveaway, I got to keep it to those in the in the United States and Canada. But it's not only to camera drone guys, FPV guys, if they need any of these things, they can leave a yeah. comment if they choose to. It's because Herman's not a class elitist. It's yeah. not a, it's not, a, yeah, it's not a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's going to be given away to more than one person. So it's not, everybody's not getting the whole, you know, the whole shebang one, one shot. You know? Right. Right. A couple of giveaways. So he'll be spinning. He'll be spinning Ash, what's good, the virtual baby? wheel a couple of times. How hey, you doing? Ash, what's good. How are you, man? I would go salute, but I finished the beer already. Oh, well, I mean, I'm still drinking this uncle nearest here. This. Hey, Hey, Tom. Yeah. Since, Herman, since Herman has had this stuff called Uncle Nearest, he has regained his respect for alcohol. <laughs> it's a it's he a says when he, whiskey, a uh, hundred proof, and that put hey, some Andy, hair on your head. Yeah, it has. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, Angie says she can't stay. She can't stay. Wanted to wish us guys a great stream and hello to the chat crew okay. and, and the bench. Hey, Angie, how are you? Oh, she's at the beach. Oh, the beach. Beach. girl. All right, okay. there you go. Which beach are you at? You well, we appreciate you coming in. Well, she's in Texas, so she's got some beaches. Yeah, That's yeah, right. she has That's quite a few yeah. there. Yeah, no, nah, winner go. takes all. Recovery one says winner takes all. Forget yeah, that. Winner probably. takes all. Wow, what kind of thing is that? You want everything? Yeah, really cutting everybody else out. Damn, you want two lanyards. Yeah. Not to mention the one you yeah. already probably have. That's because he's going to hang. He's going to hang his FPV remote off of one on his neck <laughs> and he'll the small controller off of the other it's our version of blink dude okay okay it's only one neck though hey, yeah well, ash, that's the problem ash, after said, a while, right? ash says he's back he's 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 back from an evening of beers and steak okay that's the man it should make for an interesting chat that's that's where it should be yeah 
That's the way it should be. That's the manly meal for me. That's the I'm acting like a bachelor because of my wife is mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I speak on. of her. I just heard her pull up. So I, 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 I had to get that in really quick. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows and everybody has seen the latest videos, the streams that people have done. I even believe that there's videos on YouTube already. People have it in their hands already. Yeah. Uh, we've seen, we've heard the buzz. We've seen that, you know, the uh, FCC filings, you know, the ID you know, we've seen some video. We've even seen pictures of what's going to be in the Flymore combo. You know, we've seen a few different things with this thing. Uh, we've seen a picture of the box, supposedly, where the box features, what, uh, the drone, two batteries and the controller, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's this one here. Uh, right. So, um, here, if I can get back to it, this is what comes in the box right here. Well, you showed the um the stuff that's supposedly in that in the box. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. When yeah. you now you see, <laughs> it's a single battery. What happened? No, you get two. Yeah. yeah. They say yeah. this is. This what I guess shots. would be. I guess this is what they would call that fly. That's more. a fly more. That's a fly yeah. more combo. That's yes, a fly but... more combo. Because there's actually a triple charger right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you look in the side along the uh, the Twitter feed, you'll see there's a there's a picture there that that appears only to have. Uh, that no, that also three. appears to be the right. five this more. One yeah, that's a three. five more combo. Five more combo. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now we've also seen what they show was a new video that was leaked on this drone, right? Where it showed this the. Is uh, true. Where it had the uh, what is it the sensor size and the uh, megapixels yeah. twenty megapixels we all saw this video, mm -hmm. you know the Air Two S the tips the yeah. ADSB and right Looks here like iPhone sorry videos. About that. Uh, videos. Now sorry there about was that. there was some things here that I've heard that you know the coming soon thing, <laughs> you know people like you know I, I've heard that was going around that um, DJ has never done that before. Yeah, Ash mentioned it on and his I, stream. I, yeah, also. Ash did mention that, but then I heard it again from somebody else speaking, and they said that oh, they never saw that before with DJI. But who knows? You know, everything is changing. With you know, they don't. They're trying not to be too predictable anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> but that's they, but they but they have these funny way of leaking things. So the drones the, already the drones already know, out there, right? And we know it's already out there. So now we have what already three, got inside four, info. The actual drone and the uh, the camera. So what they said, we getting a one inch sensor. We know, yes. that, you know, we got twenty megapixels uh, still capability. But I'm mm -hmm. hearing that it's a two point eight fixed aperture. And therein lies the problem. Now, video, we talking about what five point four K at thirty at thirty frames per second, four K sixty frames per second. Yes. We also looking at uh, the third generation OcuSync, ADS-B, an upward and forward obstacle avoidance. That's what I'm hearing. So, well, I'm quite I, interested in seeing what this is going to do. But I do what my only concern is what you had mentioned, what you said when I mentioned that it was a 2.8 fixed aperture. I agree, Ash. You see what Ash put? DJI would never also release a video trailer with the sticker still attached to it. I agree with that because... No, that wasn't their video. In, in we fact, know that. I, I, that, that almost looks in the style of a guy I follow, and some of you probably do, iPhone Neo. Mm -hmm. uh, out on the West Coast, he puts together some nice videos, but it looks like a classic from him as far as the the red background as it spins around, you know, the dra dramatic shot, but it, it doesn't look like it's a uh, package corporate video from DJI. No, I don't think so. Either. I think it'll be no, more, because more like, than... like, like Ash mentioned, and a bunch of other people in here. Is it a 10 well. bit? Hey, hey drone, drone shots. shots, what's up? But you're right, Ash. Coming I, soon I, I sounds like it's been... American. Coming soon I... sounds like it was created in America. I just find that if it was DJI and it had their 
team of people doing this advertising, it would have been a little more cleaner than that, a little bit Dude, more dramatic. What has DJI been saving money on recently? <laughs> Come on. They because they have well, us well, marketing. Yes. They don't right. have to market their products. They just have to leak bits of information because mm -hmm. we're hound dogs, man. We are on the scent immediately. We we come up with these ideas and you know stuff gains traction and then they release a product. You're right. Well, it's they it's, have right. not. You know, they're not spending a boatload of money on. Uh, you're, it's, you're right. Tom, they don't have to. The, but it's to the point now that if somebody was or or the, the two guys who is it uh. Uh, Osita Love or uh, uh, Kashi or whatever you pronounce these guys' names. Uh, right. I, I can't, you know. Uh, these guys are. If these guys were to leak a picture of a dinosaur with with, with, with props on it, we would we'd say that's the next DJI. That's <laughs> the next be, DJI. And thing we'd be buying it. And we would convince ourselves to understand why we needed this flying uh, dinosaur. You see what yeah. Ash put? The Air 2 release is like the Pocket 2 release. If you already own the Pocket 1, and the Pocket 2 isn't that exciting. It's the same right. thing for the 2S, right. except the 2S, except for one thing, Ash, the 2S appeals to the photographer more because of that one-inch sensor. Stop. But my Stop. only it's issue a is the same with, Har with, with Herman is that um, fixed two-point, that two-way That's not my problem. Thing. If you're a photographer, you can work around that. You know what my problem is? Yeah, with filters. Spending money on premier DJI product mm -hmm. only for them to make it obsolete on the next drone. So tell me, what the hell am I going to do with my smart controller? Shove it up my ass? Okay? So you're going to tell me right now that unless you're going to make this bird firmware back from a hardware will, standpoint back backward compatible, you yes. just screwed me out of 700 bucks. Okay. Something to that effect. And well, yeah. how do you think the guys yeah. feel with that crystal sky? But, uh, here, here's the idiot again. Okay. With a with a crystal sky ultra bright. Okay. But you Give know, this is this is what's starting to get me. Now, now, if the 2S mm -hmm. has 03, of course, it's gonna have 03, right? That's what they it, say. It, it's gonna have an upgraded camera over the air two that I'm carrying right now. Mm -hmm. Now, do me Slightly two larger. big favors. A, they can work with my goggles, my DJI FPV goggles. Right. Of course, as a photographer, that's my viewfinder now. Okay? Oh, you do goodness. that, I'm sold. Make it work with my motion controller. Because okay. I can get much more cinematic shots with my motion controller than I can sticking it. Okay? Yeah. Make those things happen. And you well, sell well, you sell an Air Air Two flyer, the two well, S. Goggles on a camera drone is good. Is nice. Hey, Big Matt, what's good, man? Speaking of the guy who has a hood that owns a hood, who has a baby hood. Okay, so I agree with you, Herman. <laughs> okay, being able to see what you're trying to frame Listen, is, is, have... is basically what we're trying to do as photographers. Oh, hold on a minute. Stop the machine. Who's that? Philly drone light? Is that? Is that one? Oh my God. Whoa. Hey, Mikey. So what do we on hey. this occasion? Totally disagree. The sensor hey. on the air is, uh, has phenomenal dynamic range, although it's not the roof, not to mention the clarity of the picture. Well, look, look. Uh, the A one inch sensor should be a lot more discreet, less noise. <laughs> it should have a better uh, latitude of yeah. contrast, okay? But the 2.8 is not the killer there, okay? You, you can work with that. The thing that you have to keep in mind here is, is this going to be a 10-bit sensor? That's that. Okay? It's got to be at least 10-bit. It's just like the, the P3 standard. It, it's got to be. True, Ash. Uh, true, yeah. said true. Ash says it's about what you have and how you use it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Best camera is the one you have with you, right? And that's why the mini for a lot of people is great because they can have it with them. Oh yeah. Uh, I, just, um, you know, I, I, I love the I love the Air 2. I think the Air 2 is a, a great, great camera drone. 
I just found uh, that like disagree, Ash. Scammers Hold are on. very uh, Hold on. Philly Drone Life says, I totally disagree, Ash. The sense on the air is a phenomenal and a dynamic range is through the roof, not to mention the clarity of the picture and video. Well, I, it, I, I like I said, I, I love the air too. Now, can they improve on that? Look, you give me a better camera. Give me the ability to use my DJI FPV goggles. Mm -hmm. And if you throw in the motion controller, you just sold me another effing drone, okay? Okay. So that's the way I put it. <laughs> and by the way, which means you, you all can get a bargain on a, a very well cared for uh, Mavic Air 2, <laughs> okay? Just start putting in your bids now, and uh, uh, I will entertain them. Mm -mm. And you know it comes with the accessories too because I'm an accessory whore. What about the um, FPV? No, no, no. I, I'm I, loving it. You're not getting rid of that. I, I am loving it. By the way, I got a uh, video that's dropping uh -huh. at 7.30 uh, okay. your time tonight. Okay. Uh, did some uh, some rock climbing in uh, Pine Creek Canyon. So uh, I didn't do the actual rock climbing. I'm letting the FPV drone do that for me. So uh, it, it, it's a blast. It's a blast, okay? And then the motion controller, it's just, it becomes an extension of you, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, yesterday I got to fly out at um, the deserted water park uh, in the middle of the Mojave Desert. So okay, uh, I actually had the wife- uh, Are you flying bandos now, man? Checking, <laughs> he's, uh, he's up there, baby. Uh, but- uh, <laughs> I had uh, the wife checking out the video and she got a little nervous because I flew through the uh, uh, the customer gate uh, coming into the water park, you know, where they take your tickets, yeah. turnstiles. I flew through the turnstile area. So, you know, uh, I had a, had a lot of fun there. Plenty to see, a lot of desert graffiti Ash out there. It's right to an extent, Lawrence. What's that? What's up, so Ray? What He's right to an extent because, you know, there is more room to play when you have more aperture control, especially. Oh, yeah, like absolutely. A absolutely. OK, look, the more flexibility you have, uh, you, you want I want to shoot in that. OK, yeah. I want to control the parameters. I want to control right. the shutter speed. You know, I might be going for more blur. So, uh, you know, even though I'm shoot shooting 4K 60, Mm -hmm. I might not opt to shoot at a one twentieth of a second. I might want to add more blur into that image, so right. I might I might drop it down to a sixtieth. Okay, right. uh, or depending if I on what you're surreal. Shooting. If I want to get very surreal, I might even drop it down to one thirtieth. Okay, but that you know that's that I like choices. I don't like when they back me into a corner and go, okay, here here you go, here's all you're getting. Yeah, and uh, you're stuck there. Yeah. No, but I think so I like all um, the different flavors in my life. Hey, drawings, Philly. Fi hey, flavors. Mikey. Philly drone life. I, I would have to uh, agree with you a little bit on that. It's all about what pair of shoes you want to put on today. You know, you right. I don't. 10, I don't. You want to put on the ten dollar loafers, or do you want to put on the um hundred dollar wingtips? That's what it's, it, this look, drone guys, it's how your mind, become. how your mind leverages the tool that you have in your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Well, so, for some guys, they just want whatever comes out, and and, yeah, and I'm not, yeah. I don't knock anyone for that, and I don't care how you have your fun. I mean, if that's if that's your bag, you want to get all the drones, get all the drones that come out. I mean, I'm not knocking that. I, hey, more power to you. I wish I could do it too. All I'm saying is that um, I agree with all of those points as far as to say, you know, when you say that it's the leverage and the tool that you have, the problem. I, I occur with, with DJI sometimes for the customer, you know, a lot of guys will rant on that, you know, guys will say, well, you know, don't wait, get what's out now. And then you get what comes later on well, and then whatever. But, you know, like you mentioned about them bricking the thing that, you know, the one drone that you got before. I don't yeah, think that it, necessarily know. holds true for most people because the average guy is not really doing you know anything major where he's, he's just having a good time with it so enjoy what you got 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, you know, it, it's use. Look, if you're always waiting for waiting for the next best thing, you're always going to be waiting because there's something better coming out next. Okay, yeah, it's a tool. It's <laughs> it's just like the the still camera I have. Okay, it's a tool set. You ever heard about that too, um, Ash? You know, leverage it to guarantee the that nobody extent. here learn, is learn you, even using it. their existing drones to their full camera no, potential. No, well, I agree that, with you. That would that would be with Absolutely. any camera, because there's a lot of things that on those camera and a camera that you really don't have a need for. It. It's things that you. Well, you're it's right. not so much that it, it's that they don't look. They they don't scratch the surface a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Right. How I many don't people use have we run features. across? How many people have we run across at meets? Mm -hmm. that they've been flying for a while but don't even know how to get to some of the menu settings or don't even know their drone can do x or y forget about True. z okay True. so ash you're, you're you're right on the money there i mean it's it's oh, yeah. just like anything else uh, the first what... thing we discard in the box is the owner's manual right okay <laughs> but that's and, why i said the guy that bought that air too doesn't really have to run and get this 2s well you could fly. You could fly a mini, mm -hmm. okay, with the right creative eye, make some spectacular imagery, and, and you could have an Inspire two with an i seven, okay, with with the next seven. It still look like crap, and still, yeah, and still produce nothing but a grainy piece of crap, right? True. Okay? So it, it comes down to how you leverage the tool. Look, if you pick up a hammer and swing it at a nail with the wrong end of the hammer, you're not going to have success. What's up, Chris? So it's just a matter of learning these That's tools. Awesome. Now, 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 me, I'm looking for, mm -hmm. I'm always striving for the smallest kit I can carry. As okay. I get older, I'm hoping it's a lighter kit too. That makes okay? sense. <laughs> but, you know, that's why my bag... My bag is a roller bag, man. I ain't going to the airport to carry anything anymore. <laughs> uh, and I'm not, I'm even trying to figure out how to look even older when I get on so somebody will volunteer to put my bag in the old bag for me. Wow. But uh, <laughs> but basically, you know, look, I'm carrying I'm carrying a camera, I'm carrying the DJI FPV drone, and I'm carrying my Mavic Air too. Mm -hmm. And then all the ancillary batteries and filters and all the other crap that goes along with it, right? Because it's a whole it's a whole sideshow that goes with it. So always looking for hey Jackson, I'll see. Always looking for the smallest, most compact kit I can can travel with. I'm down to carrying a single lens now. You're, on, you're on actually my, hitting it right on, on the Z6. head every time. Yeah. 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 You, don't be compelled to keep running out and buying all this stuff from DJI. Yeah, because yeah, all they're doing is like they like they fudge it a little bit more, they fudge it a little bit more, and they come out and, and they sell it. And only you will will ruin the experience of your your um smart controller by running out and buying this drone, possibly. Well, you know what? I, I do want to see what happens with the smart controller here. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that was an investment made by a lot of people. Oh yeah, it was okay, uh, much more so. You know, they mainstream that smart controller more so than they ever did for the Crystal Sky. Because the Crystal they were Sky going was away from the Crystal side. Sky when they came with this thing. Well, look, they, they bundled this with the Mavic uh, 2s. Um, unless the theory that Lawrence had at one point still holds true. And then, I mean, who knows? That Crystal Sky would possibly still come in handy for guys. But Lawrence was always believing that um, with the way they were doing now with the consumer drones and a lot of these things, the Mini and the Air 2 and all this was all coming out on these on that Fly app. Yeah, so He was saying that if they ever came out with um, the new uh, Mavic on the, like, to replace the, uh, the Pro, that it would probably go back on the same app with the same interface with all of the settings in it instead of the, the watered down Fly app. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. You would only hope. Mikey, I agree with you, man. I'm having a blast and a half with the DJI FPV drone. Uh, you know, okay. the, the kid of me is coming back out again. So, uh, it, look, the tool is a tool. 
how you want to use it. Look, if you got a, if you got bottomless pockets, man, you, you don't have any problem. Hey, you know, with flow, go out, and knock yourself out. That's what they're hoping for. Go down okay. there. Oh, well, I know. Is, is. I'm running. I'm, I, I feel like uh, the day old bakery. Yeah, except I feel my the technology I'm offering up to, by the way, all, all the people in this chat here, the day old just, just make me an offer. I'm calling it the half half day old technology. OK, because <laughs> you don't even seem like you're getting a day out of it anymore. OK, I got a crystal sky ultra bright at a bargain price. Yeah, they, look, O3 is great, uh -huh. but make account for something, make it work with my goggles. Right. Give me the viewfinder I'm that looking for. Well, that is the okay. talk. That is the talk that's been going that it possibly and then it would be work worth with it the, for with me. The goggles. Because then I don't have to carry a smart controller. Yeah, but Tom, that smart controller is still an issue. They put out drones that and they linked a lot of things to that smart controller. Yeah, and guys I agree. ran out and bought that smart controller. Well, this smart controller works right now with my with my uh two pro. My Air 2, okay? Very nice there. But there's a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. That was to today. What? Tomorrow, is it obsolete? And is tomorrow already here? And that's what kind of, you know, by not... And, and this is part of the problem. Look, they, they've, less, they've left us Crystal Sky users in a lurch on, on numerous occasions. In fact... We're still in a lurch. Mm -hmm. Can't use the Crystal Sky for a lot of products. Now, on the commercial side of the fence, I, you know, I can't see going out into the desert with, with, I mean, even my small controller, I got to have a little hood on. It's a thousand nit brightness, but these are right. these suckers are getting old. Right. Okay. Uh, you know, that's why I love the FPV goggles. You lock out all that light with, of course, using the right cushions on them, the sponge foam uh, instead of the stock ones. But, you know, man, I can now focus on what I want to shoot mm -hmm. and, and not have to, you know, struggle to view what I, how I'm framing the shot, whether it's in focus or not. What's my telemetry look like? I got everything right there, man. Right mm -hmm. there. So, but uh if they can do that for me then i'm sold i'm i'm gonna make the purchase okay now uh i don't know if we're gonna get any more flight time out of it because it's it appears to be the exact same battery uh in the current uh air two so i don't know that they're gonna eat it in fact i'm thinking with the sensor load will you lose some flight time or did they figure out how to build in some efficiency here so that they basically leveled that out so you're not losing anything? Because remember, you do have more sensors on it. The other thing I like is how they put those upward-facing sen sensors closer to that front edge because actually you are flying at an angle. Mm -hmm. And those two front sensors can miss a lot, you know, especially when it comes to tree branches and all. But uh, when it comes to DJI FPV drone, man, I, I recommend you sit down uh, or, uh, you know, again, uh, I, I'm sitting on the tailgate of a pickup truck and it's pretty funny because my wife can tell when I'm getting close to things because I'm picking my legs up like they're going to scrape the boulder I'm flying over. <laughs> uh, you get used to but, it. But it's a blast, man. It, it's a blast. And you know what? Yeah. Look, you don't have to fly in manual mode. OK, uh -huh. you, you don't ever have to fly in manual mode if that's not what you're into. If you're uh -huh. looking for the really high cinematics, you know, value kind of stuff that that large turn sports mode will get you some we'll fantastic get you what you images. Want. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. believe so. And, I, you know, I all the safety is built into it. All the safety is built into it. Look. And here's the other thing I got to say, and, and Mike, you probably agree with this and Ash. The DJI FPV drone is brand new. And what do they do with, with this kind of technology now? They release it when it's barely ready. Mm -hmm. And then they update it through firmware upgrades. Uh -huh. So I actually see 
they bring the getting much, much better. Okay. At at being what it's destined to be. True. Uh, it, look, you got Ken Ken Dono. He came out, gave his 30, 30 day post review, okay. and and basically reversed himself on what he thought about it. Mm-hmm. Well, so, a lot of guys have taken back things that they may have said earlier on about this drone. Yeah. And um, you know, I've heard comments from even what you just said earlier about not having to fly in manual mode. And and I said to Lawrence from day one, I said. DJI is not bringing this drone out for you to go into FPV. DJI brought this drone out to change the FPV game. So is that you can fly DJI FPV or you can they, fly FPV. <laughs> they're opening up the market, right? And they, they, they're catering to different tiers of, of users. Okay. Those of us that are looking for the pretty picture, Mm-hmm. Those of us that are looking for the excitement and everything in between. So hats off, DJI. The pair of goggles on is always excitement because it's like, you. and this, this is why I've, like I got told Lawrence when I first started flying with the drone, when I first got the, the P3 standard, the hardest thing for me in the world was flying this thing with a phone and being able to look around and see the light on everybody around me I needed something that was more, yeah, you know, something larger and something something that brought you some focus, right? right. And that, right. and, that, yeah. and I, when I got that hood, that was it. Yeah. Once yeah, that great. drone is out, I'm not lifting my head up until I look up to where it is. Okay, I get the shot, and okay. Hey Philly, uh, did you get the two year plan with the three refreshes, or? Only the two, only the one year plan with the two refreshes because I see you just got your second, you got your first refresh yeah, back. So. He's got his, his, yes. Okay. Yes. So did they take did long they, getting you your bird or it's the standard wait process, waiting process? If you guys if get you like an answer. adoption center, you're going to go down there and end up bringing home the whole family. Hey, Matt. You know, hey, Big Matt's in the in the chat says, the you know, they go the route. They go in the route of Apple with uh, little incremental upgrades. And uh, Matt, does if that. you check Apple stock, it's not hurting them, is it? Everyone is doing that. Everyone is doing that. Your your phone your your phone did the same thing it did last year, the <laughs> last model, and the model before that, and the model before that. They just keep. Fudging, Ash is, fudging, Ash fudging, is fudging, waiting fudging. for Ken Herron's I was wrong video. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Ash might be waiting a minute. Wasn't that the one with the ex-wife? Oh, oh, different topic. Sorry. <laughs> Those of you that know Ken. Yeah, well, you'll, I think you're going to be waiting a little <laughs> bit on that one. Yeah, yeah, Mikey, uh, I agree, man. You take you take the FPV drone uh and that's the nice thing about the DJI FPV drone. You take it at stages, right? You, you don't have to go balls to the wall mm-hmm. right out of the box because uh, you will be in the wall, okay? Mm-hmm. But but you take it at stages. And the other thing is, even in manual mode, you got safeties, okay? You hit the brake in manual mode. Uh, she's dropping into regular, you know, uh, normal mode. Now, this is... Also, a downside, right? Of course, you can't tune that or, or turn that off. So if you have, if, if it thinks it can't get back to you, okay, in manual mode, like you've gone a little too far, it's always estimating its return. And if it doesn't think you can get back to it, it, it will arbitrarily drop itself into normal mode and start coming home. So there are drawbacks to it. But again, I, I think a lot of this stuff can be tweaked in uh, with firmware up- updates. Okay. So I'm excited to see what what other features can come to the uh, FPV drone. Well, I'm curious to see what's going on with this drone. And I know the one thing everybody has been going and everybody's been like, oh, well, when and how much? Well, you, well before you say, before you even, even go into when and how much, we you have to figure okay. this drone seems to be marketed for the person who did not get the Mavic Air. 
Okay. It, okay. <clears throat> and and that's how I honestly feel about it because I know I think people, it's who have the the Mavic, people. people who have the Mavic Air I, I just, are not buying it. People I'm who sorry. Don't own the Mavic Air are buying it. I, I'm I, sorry. I don't know. If you are Mavic have, Air, go ahead. I think there's people who just have the fever for the flavor or whatever DJI puts out. And they have a whole no, club there's another DJI There's stuff. another group here. Because you could ask Stevie, Capture Life Connections, you could ask him. If the Mavic Air 2S mm -hmm. has a larger camera, which we all agree it does, right? Mm -hmm. It has O3, mm -hmm. which we all agree it does. Can be used with the goggles and the motion controller. Mm -hmm. You sold Mavic Air to pilots who own a DJI FPV drone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that so I'm telling you, people, if you're pointing for something a little bigger than a Mavic uh, Mini, there's going to be plenty of Mavic Air twos available on the market. At, oh at, yeah, at really yes, good they pricing. Are. Okay. I've been seeing I've been seeing the price drop from eight hundred dollars. You can get one still now, brand new for eight hundred dollars. But I've seen them as oh, well wow. used for six fifty. On the air, the air on the, on the air on the air. Yes, on it the was air used or the, and or from the air Adorama. Two. Air two. and from Adorama. On the air or the air two. The air no, two. I'm the sorry, air. the air okay. two. Because right about on the now, air you two. give the air away. No, the air two. I, I I'm sorry, mis misspoke. But yes, on the air too. I have seen as low as 650 from Adorama. I was actually considering getting one since the two was coming out because people will be getting yeah, rid of them. You people are selling them already. So, you know, I got one. But those them. who need to keep up with the Joneses, yeah. Well, as I said, the people who have the fever for the flavor of whatever. You have the fever. Out. You got the disposable income, whatever it might be. Whatever okay. they got that comes out, if they put out a t shirt, you're getting it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, walking down the block with the Victoria Angel model on your arm, another woman walks by and you're trying, trying to your figure head. out how to go viral okay. with it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. With what? <laughs> I'm trying, trying to figure out how to go viral with the, with, with the new drone. So, so Lawrence, an Air 2 for 650 sounds like a good deal, right? So, yeah you know yeah. no tax yeah local yeah. pickup and and, and okay. from adorama which is right here in new york now if you want it bundled with a smart controller uh -oh. we can talk uh -oh. so. <laughs> the horns come out i'm, I'm, I'm thinking uh -oh. really hard i'm gonna have to yeah, DM you. I'm gonna see have to here's, here's my problem with the <laughs> Tom, here's i'm my gonna problem have to dm you on that Huh? Okay, here's my problem with the Air 2S. They got the fire sale. Okay, yeah. <laughs> my problem with the Air 2S is if I have to revert to using a phone again to fly an Air 2S, that, that would keep me from buying an Air 2S. And so my big trouble here is what happens with the smart controller? That's what I really want to see shake loose here. What happens with the smart controller? Will they make this backward compatible? And who knows? Would I want it? You know, so mm -hmm. where's my advantage then? Am I losing my O3 to be backward compatible with OcuSync 2 so I can use my smart controller? So this this is what I'm waiting to see how this shakes out. It's going to be interesting. What oh, did they yeah, leave us in the right the same seven. thing, Lawrence. What they're, happened? They're, they're, I was going to tell them the same thing. They're all worse vices. They're the right, right. Oh, I just put in I just put in the chat. Drones are like Pringles, potato chips. You can't just have one. Fly. If I don't know anyone that can take a Pringles chip and just eat one. And I don't know if it's the caffeine in them or, or the sugar or whatever, but drones are the same way because well, once you, you know that learn right? or are comfortable with the drone, you think about upgrading or stepping to that next level. Mm -hmm. You know, I started out with a 4S battery. Now I'm flying 6S batteries this long, mm -hmm. you know, so. It's all about size, too. <laughs> that size, that size. What yeah, size? That, that wasn't How right. Is it? <laughs> that, was, that, that didn't come out right. I have a smart controller, I... <laughs> and I would love more, more drones to be compatible with it. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. 
Well, or are they going to leave us stranded as, again? As the as the I don't know if it'll be able to receive from that uh, and transmit with that. Oh well, that, again, that agree, remember but, that small control is built on Octusync too. Right, that's true, Ash. It's all about firmware. And, and 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 not physical but hardware. but ash ash will it the ahead. radio circuit the radio circuitry okay is still a hardware based now of course there's software but i don't believe ocusync 3 is based solely on software i believe there are or there are some hardware compatibility issues that would have to be addressed but I could be wrong. I, I could only hope you're right there. Right. Let's see. I'm not sure on that one. I know there was the difference. Tell Motorola like just got us to buy millions of new radios because <laughs> you see what show radio. put drug dealing 101. Give your customers a taste. Absolutely, man. Well, you get Absolutely. Come on, come on. They didn't uh, give me know, anything for free. Where's my local yeah. crack dealer? Here, oh, here. Eddie, Eddie's down in the Dominican Republic. I was going to say, I, I was going to introduce you to my local crack dealer. Eddie, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and Lawrence, Lawrence, uh, you, you got your own street corner you're working. So, I don't want to. What happened? Through, okay. Well, Another well, drug dealer right there. Well, you said okay. I got a corner Lawrence. myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen. Hey, he's been trying to sell you into the FPV game for a while, Herman. Yeah, I'm good. You go to the barber shop. Eventually, <laughs> you'll get your hair cut. Herman, Herman's the good kid on the block. Yeah, yeah he, ain't, he ain't buying you can't. Say, stay on the stoop. I stayed on. That's, the stoop. that's right. <laughs> Saved yourself a small fortune too. <laughs> now, did I did I um, localize myself with that one? For those of you that don't, don't know what the stoop is, sitting on the stoop. Oh yeah, listen. You got to give that announcement again next next week. Yeah, I know. Wednesday, I will. I will. Is it get okay? Yeah, next week, uh, Wednesday, is the 100th episode of uh, Wednesday Night with Those Guys. So I will be giving away a couple of things to a couple of people who leave comments in the comment section of this live stream. Not in the chat, but on the comment section below. Uh, anything they want, but you must, it must contain the word congratulations. So you can say congratulations, dummy, <laughs> or you can say congratulations on your 100th episode. But as long as it says excited. congratulations, you you can pick to win one of the items that I'm giving away. I have two lanyards to give away, a boom for the microphone, and uh, what else? Some headphones. And headphones. For yeah, those headphones. of you who are interested yeah. in starting up your own live stream, if you feel to, or if you just want it for your own enjoyment. So that'll be no and give it away next week. Yeah. Herman's not flying FPV yet, but yeah, I, yeah, thank, before, thank you, Ash. Before the yeah. year is out. What happened? Before uh, the they, year uh, is out, I predict. I'm yeah. sitting here between two guys who shaved their heads and me not needing to for <laughs> or or needing to. I need short. another shave, man. Okay. <laughs> Severe. My hairline started here. I still have a few hairs that pop in here. They just haven't gotten the memo that everybody else moved north. Oh, I have the Charlie Brown hair too. Yeah. It pops up in the Charlie middle of the Brown forehead hair. and decides to grow by like two inches if I don't cut my hair regularly. You know what? I did it once. And a I, phantom. I did it once before and um it hey Hugh. It, it didn't come back right. So yeah, she take care of it. I just took it off completely again and it just stopped coming back. <laughs> Well, now that it's getting message. warmer, I'll be forced to shave more because I I tend to wear my baseball caps backwards when I put the mm -hmm. goggles on. But uh, I I went I got up this morning to go get the COVID my first COVID shot, and I was like, I'm not I'm not cutting my hair, I'm not even taking. Oh, so my you hair. just got your first one? Yeah, yeah. And and so, so your wife is going to sit and ridicule you when you get your second one? No, she's got she got her second one. She's got her okay. second one. We're getting ready to plan. For our she's recovered. She's recovered from her second one, right? Yeah, yeah. Her second good, one kind of hit her a little. Heavy, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I told you, it's like you know, you look out the window and there's a strange guy standing across the street, staring towards your window. You take <laughs> yeah. notice. 
Yeah. But the second yeah. shot is you open up the blinds and the guy is standing right at your window looking at you. Uh-huh. You know, so it's a different yeah, reaction. It, it's it a different actually, reaction. You're, you're, you're more, more likely her, expecting him. Yeah. It actually gave her the chills and, and then she had yeah, like chills, body sweats. Aches. Like she had this, she didn't have well, a Well, it's your anything, immune system going on the It uh, went away offensive. in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's why Tylenol becomes your best friend for that one day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't take uh, non-steroidals. Don't take uh, Advil, Motrin. No, Believe. no, no. They, Those they, are they, contraindicated. They, yeah. They, just take they Tylenol. In the video. Yeah, just take Tylenol. You'll be fine. Yeah. So I go back in exactly three weeks, which is the 28th. And, sure. and then, sure. then two weeks life. after that, you can go dancing. Yeah. <laughs> it's still with a mask on, but. I, <laughs> yeah, well. I may be one of those people Worst you still see walking head. around with masks just because I already have upper respiratory issues. But we'll, we'll, we'll see as time goes, because last summer was last summer was kind of hard. Well, you, you think about what happened before pandemic, right? The AA. PI, you know, the Asian American and Pacific Island community, you, you would notice people wearing masks before and you go, what the hell is up with these people? Uh, now you have to look at those same people and go, hey, thank you for being considerate of me and mm-hmm. my family because, you know, mm-hmm. in the community, you would put on a mask if you were sick as to not spread what you had. So, uh, right. Now, how many of you have, uh, have gotten away with... Uh, Skirting uh, the common cold this past year, okay, or having as many upper respiratory bouts because of wearing masks and hand washing. That's the other thing I'd like to. You know, it's funny. Community to get better at that. is hand washing. It's it's funny you say that because now I'm just I watch the news here and this they saying the CDC is saying that how a lot of that hand washing, which Ray would be thankful for, is unnecessary. And I was like, wait a minute. After people scrubbing their way into dry hands, you're now- Hand washing is necessary. Hand washing wasn't as necessary as they say because- yeah, Hey, just like Philly, thanks for necessary. stopping in, man. We appreciate you for stopping in, Mikey. Hey, Mikey, you take care of yourself, bro. They claim that uh, it, it can be, it's only contracted from the- saliva or- the from, new, uh, from aerosol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from, but, but again, but again, Think about it. One thing that we haven't gotten really as badly that in the past year is influenza. Mm-hmm. So I was nicely replaced by COVID. Yeah, not true. Okay, yeah. influenza, again, a reason why it hasn't been spread as much is, yes, we've isolated, but the hand washing, okay? There are a lot of things spread by contact. Okay. But then again, we have people who just love to carry shit around. Yeah. Uh, you know, after you use the restroom, please wash your hands. It shouldn't just be mandatory for employees. Okay. Every door and arm you touch. Well, Tom, this is what I was talking to you about earlier. New Air and drone uh, responders work on New York agency drones. New Air and drone responders have fortified their relationship to get drones into the hands of more New York agencies. This move comes as agencies continue to find ways to save time, money, and resources by using drones. New Air will take care of the tools and knowledge side of things. Simultaneously, drone responders will Focus on aerial first responders and agency uh, uh, emergency managers, helping them learn to tra- uh, and train and fly in emergencies. Now, this here came about, I saw this because New Year is uh, basically the ones who are the brainchild behind the drone car that Lawrence loves so much up there in Utica. And um, they're working on, and, and then, you know, they're working on different things and to bring into the new, you know, the, the new year with this whole thing with uh, remote ID and all the other things that's coming to be with drones. But also when Lawrence had mentioned that story about um, he had the chart where he was saying which uh, states were more friendly towards uh, 
towards uh, drone yeah, in, starting in the commercial yeah, sector. I, I remember. And now we have drone responders and New, New Air now working together now to get drones into more agency hands. So I, when I saw this, I saw it was that they had a little picture with the sheriff's department and everybody there. So let's see where this goes. Oh yeah, this is uh, with uh, in new, concert with drone responders. Yeah. Right, because you know, okay, drone responders again, good group, thirty eight hundred members in drone responders. Right, uh, exactly, yeah. Yeah. and and they're you all know, that's where the experience is. Experience with, with your with your peers. Uh, again, we worked with uh, drone responders down in, uh, and we're talking in forty eight different countries worldwide, so it is spreading like a virus. Yeah. And, and that's what we need, honestly. The more people th that know about drones and drone technology, the more people can advance. Right now here in the United States, I don't think we know enough technology-wise to keep up with the rest of the world, but it's not hard to catch up. Well, I, 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 I would, well, as far as maybe if you wanted to say we were for about building drones and and, and putting them into the hands of consumers. I would agree with you on that. But as far as everything else, I not really. Because you got this company, uh, this, these people here, drone responders. You know, that is a world of knowledge in, in, in 3,800 members because they all have, you know, background in public safety, you know, and, and for the work that, that New Air is doing, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff being learned right up there in Utica. Yeah, yeah, because they have not shut it down. They're still doing all well, kinds of testing. They're not going to shut that down, huh? No, they're these are research centers. Yeah. These are research yeah. centers. These are centers of innovation. Right. right, right now it's a major hub, and if you are a drone, a, a drone company, and or owner of a drone company, you can go to. Utica or Rome, New York, and say, hey, I'd like to test this out beyond line of sight, visual line of sight, at on, and you can do it there because they're basically a giant research facility for anyone that has a drone or a company that wants to come on, come in and, and get down with remote ID and everything, all of the above, delivery, they're, they just, they're in the process of legalizing marijuana in the United States already people are talking about opening shops and stuff like that. So it's a matter of time Ooh. before you start seeing drone deliveries delivery. of all kinds. We drone delivery. Well. Mm. Flying well. high. Is Honestly, well, no, I, no, no. I just no, branded Tom. that, by the way. Tom. I just branded I've, I've, I've heard Don't try to steal my name. We <laughs> actually did come <laughs> high drone that delivery. already. We're in a state where it was, uh, where it is legal that they were looking for a drone company to help them uh, get a drone delivery. But then again, you know, drone delivery hasn't taken off yet either. So we're waiting to see if they find an airline that is certified by the FAA. You know, the FAA. My, my airline will dude, be certified 420, so. baby. <laughs> okay. That, Look, New York State, New York State just jumped on the bandwagon, huh? Uh, was New York State was hemorrhaging money to uh, to Massachusetts? I think uh, it was over one third of the uh, cannabis taxes collected in Massachusetts came from New York State residents. So it's a possibility. Uh, and then when Jersey announced that they had passed their their legal, it's uh, a possibility. But I, I I couldn't I wouldn't see the reason for traveling so far. Uh, well. Uh, it depends, right? I mean, if you can take that bulk bus, you know, for a couple of bucks out of Chinatown uh, mm. and you're picking up some legal weed, the only problem is once you cross the state line, it's not legal anymore. So what's the but, point? But New York just jumped on the bandwagon, so. Uh, you know, there's really no point in going that far. It's uh, the amount of tax revenue it's raised is incredible. Oh, yes. And the thing is, it's got to be used properly. That's all. It's got to, the tax money's got to be used mm. properly. Uh, take yeah, the crime I, out of it. Here is the okay, it's got benefits. All good. Now, drone delivery could be a problem because keep one thing in mind. Northeast says they're delivering have, in his area already. Where are you? 
Northeast Once you Army. leave well, the ground, it now becomes a federal operation. That's right. Now <laughs> it's governed by the FAA. And until the feds legalize it, mm -hmm. you are in violation of federal law. Yes. So. Okay. Even when you take that money and put it in the bank. Well, you know what? It, it's it basically they can they can Uber you. Okay, your online order, no problem. They haven't mm -hmm. violated any law because within the state, it's legal. But the second you're right, the second you right. put that cannabis product, that regulated cannabis product inside a drone, and once that drone takes off, it is now in violation of federal law. Go, go, go. Yep. If feds can step in and do whatever they feel like. Yep. That's when... Oh, okay. That's Queensland, Australia is where Northeast drone production is. Okay. Okay. All right. He's 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 in Queensland over on. where feet on the ground is. Um my friend Rob is in it in that area also. Not not Spain, but he's in Queensland, Australia somewhere. And I couldn't tell you uh, where directly because I'm bad with names and addresses. Tim Jackson out there. He's, uh, yes, and Tim Jackson is also is, in Queensland. Is, is yes. It? Okay. Yes. Now, quote me if I'm uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did, do believe I remember he, hearing him say that he was in Queensland. Well, he said uh, Northeast had just mentioned that they're already doing drone. They're already already doing deliveries there, mm -hmm. and they're doing deliveries all over. They, I mean, they here are, in the United not States, anything major? Huh? They are, but nothing major yet. Right, right. But they're just warming their hands up. Now, Everybody what's the hands is still in the process. The only one really that's doing much here in the states is Matternet, right? With the uh, with the hospitals. Well, UPS. UPS I saw an article. That's with it's, Matternet. It's, it's funny you say that because UPS um, just made an investment for ten large delivery drones, and oh, I, I was going to send you the story, but I, I'll I'll hold on and try and find it. Um, try and if it's not too old by um Sunday. From who? I thought and I just read it this morning on the news. Okay, because I know they 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 chose Matternet as the airline that was approved, you know, from the FAA for drone delivery. That's why they're that Dr. Gwen and them over there in North Carolina is is using it. Yes, yes, Matternet, and those are the smaller size delivery drones. But these ten that they join, um, that they have purchased, have to do something with a fleet delivering stuff locally, like to a hub, which would be distributed elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to find UPS large drone delivery. I just saw the story this morning and it was a picture of a jet. Now see, that's matter. Yeah, well, that already. I should have bookmarked it. They're showing me everything on uh, Matternet. It, it they just made the transaction, so hopefully, I'll be able to find something. Um, have you seen the drones they're using? No, we we haven't seen what you what you yeah, Tim is near, near him. Uh, we haven't seen the types of drones that they're using over there For in, in Australia. Uh, oh, in Australia, yes. What's the company? Yeah, give us a company name, maybe we can look something up. And we can check out for you real quick. Know the name of the company, because I know here we go with what the FAA, whoever the FAA has approved as a as a you know an airline is is who they're going to use. You can't just use a guy just because you feel to use a guy. I've heard a lot of things that people, even that one company, uh, what was it? Uh, Wing is one. Deuce Drones. They were trying to get certification too for drone delivery. I mean, wing aviation, it seems to be approved yeah. to fly in Australia. I'm yeah. actually checking out their page now. Hold on a second. They're working actually here too. checking out their page delivered by wing get delivery. I'm trying to click on something and see delivery with the mitt and they're delivering food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Food and other products. Okay. 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 Contact us. Novelty. Yes, yes. Engineered for your safety and collaboration. This is just one particular company. I was trying to find some. Yeah. So if you download this particular this wing app 
and you live in Australia, you should be able to order food within a certain area. They tell you if within whether you're within a confinement or not. Yeah, that's it's, similar to what we were talking about on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. the link for anyone who wants to check it out in more detail. Yeah. Um, but it's Wing and a few other companies there. I know Zipline is almost everywhere around the world. I don't think on all seven continents, but I know Wing um, Zipline is in the United States, mm -hmm. of course, in Africa and some parts of Europe and now in some parts of Australia. Well, Zipline is who uh, Walmart was working with. Yes, yes. So expect to see them dropping small packages or are you seeing something flying over? I don't. I doubt the metropolitan area anything, here in New York, in New York City. <laughs> huh? Anything from A to Z. Yeah, yeah. When when you pointed that out to me, <laughs> that logo, I didn't understand it. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can if I can pull it up. Herman pointed out something to me. Amazon logo, and I thought it was interesting. I never realized it until he said it, but I'm going to share the screen. And this is the true meaning of Amazon right here. They're, well, of course, they, they opened something stupid there. Okay, but here, right here in this picture, you see Amazon. It's not just the word itself. It's everything from A and a smile to Z. Then Herman <laughs> pointed that out. I'm like, yo, that's ingenious. You I just, looking you, at that. really? I That's just the first found time that you... out. I just found that out not too long ago, right, Herman? Yeah. That Amazon means it. everything from A to Z. People just look at it and just take it, and they just if if no it's one heard that, yeah. sometimes people just never think about it. Yes, there's a science behind logos and and stuff, and and so, you don't. So, think... oh, you don't use an iPhone, do you? No, I'm not an iPhone. Uh, I was going to say because you know the little clock here actually has a second hand okay <laughs> in the I, i'm just trying to you know some of those things that might be obvious to others and not to some no that that i i can tell i can tell time on a face clock but, but, but in, unlike unlike some teenagers today but that i uh, tom i never knew i had heard it I've heard it in the background, but I never applied it to Amazon until Herman pointed that out. <laughs> yeah, see that link that I posted does have a good link, a, a, a good view of uh, some of the drones that they use. Um, hold on, where we fly, Finland, Australia, and the United States. Okay. They Why have unmanned, specialty popcorn un unmanned now traffic management systems. What happened? You can get yourself a, a delivery of popcorn, specialty popcorn. So if you like, like sea salt on it, okay, and and a small eight ounce bag will only cost you fifty five bucks to have it delivered. Yeah, okay, you'll so, be all right. You know, go get your go get your tech jolly on. You'll be all right. Right Let's now, see. right now, yeah, I can't see me doing that. I mean, it's what? still look, 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 look. The deliveries that exist in the U.S. from a consumer standpoint right mm -hmm. now are novelty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I yes. agree. Oh yeah. Intra facility <laughs> transport of uh, of medical is viable and it's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but when it comes to uh, delivering you uh, that latest paperback, yeah, uh, that's a novelty. You're going to pay uh, dearly for it right now. Well, you're right. But I think it's mainstream. I I, I think it's mainstream within probably a 24 to 36 month period. Uh, no, not if you live in New York City. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're in the burbs, uh, you could probably get a drone delivery, which would be somewhat, you know, we'll, we'll discount this like it was any big deal uh, three right. years from now. Now, when they start getting with these giant EV tolls, they'll be able to land everywhere. Uh, you're not going to bring up the name, are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you just are, are you no. getting a piece of the pie now too? No, no, I wasn't going to bring up the name. <laughs> okay, I was just going to ask because See, I thought it was going to come I've been out behaving. any moment now. No, 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 no I wasn't going to bring up the name. But what I will say is this: two names are back again: Honeywell and Pipistrel. Well, they're married, bro. Yeah, 
Joel yeah, Manufacturer married. Yeah, Joel Manufacturer Pipistrel has selected Honeywell once again for their attitude heading reference system and ear data module. So we're the, talking about we're basically talking about their NAM systems, right? Right. And it's their inertia be, systems, yeah. Mm -hmm. Going to be used on the Nuva V300 cargo drone. Now, That's the module will allow critical navigation and motion sensing to be stored and transmitted to the ground. Right. Now, this will work side by side with Honeywell's compact fly-by-wire. Stop system. there. One, one second, Herman. Just go back a minute, Lawrence, in that video. Okay, because I want everybody to take in the sheer size of this bird here. So if you can, just just scroll oh, back right to here. where they're loading it, there right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're, we're not talking about something taking off out of your backyard here. No. Okay, this is something, this is a system, okay, that can carry, what is it, a, a thousand pounds? Three pallets. pallets. Huh? Yes, three yeah. pallets worth. So, so this is something that can turn around and make deliveries out to oil platforms. Yes. Mm -hmm. right? Economically. And to economically. Because, because it can reach altitudes that they haven't been able to reach before with drones. This thing here. Yeah. Right there. We spoke about them first, and I'm going to get back to this, but we spoke about them first on uh, Wednesday night with those guys, uh, 76. And hey, sorry, we God. talked about when they first mentioned this uh, V300 and then again and set on those guys, Wednesday night with those guys, 79, when we talked about Honey, the Honeywell fly-by-wire system being uh, implemented to this drone. So now they're getting sensors and everything from Honeywell to be able to feel their way through the sky. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is, uh, you which know, is look, actually good because one hand is washing the other. Well, uh, unmanned unmanned systems, okay, mm -hmm. have have a uh, a need for inertial navigation systems that are somewhat unique as compared to manned aviation. So, so the but but what is the same is the need for the levels of redundancy that are built into the system. Honeywell is good for that. Okay? Yes, Honeywell control systems. Uh, well, if you, you know, want to watch the been, video, they've been very good for a long time. Yeah. So, but but the thing is, you, you you need the redundancies in these systems so that if there's a glitch or a failure, there's still a robust system in place that can continue navigating this. Because we're we're talking about a certified aircraft here, because you had mentioned that earlier, right? Uh, there's a certification process, the airworthiness mm -hmm. at this level of UAV mm -hmm. that you don't have on your consumer drone. Right. That's okay? why we so first this will them. be able to fly over people. This will be able to, with, without any additional certifications, because it'll have an airworthiness certificate, just like manned aircraft. Mm -hmm. But what you have to build into it is a level of artificial intelligence that can take over should telemetry or direct contact communications be lost. And you have to have the redundancies in systems. So right. that's why I think, hey, well, Schwab, that's why I think, you know, it was a good partnership. Well, and here you go, a, you know, classic shot of it uh, delivering. Up to 450 to kilograms it is. The, the yeah, okay, okay, so you're talking about a 1,000 pounds. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, what's the range on this? It's probably pretty significant. Oh, you got very good range in this. It was uh, well. How many miles did they say on this thing, Lawrence? When we well, th when we first covered it, we we talked about that. This I know it does cover the maximum altitude of ten thousand feet, and I think the range was something close to about one hundred and fifty to two hundred miles. Don't quote me on that. I'm trying to find yeah. out right now. Because yeah. this thing here was basically this article that I saw in uh, Drone DJ was basically on. The fact that they were implementing this thing that's going to act as the brains to the flight controller and the attitude heading system. 300 uh, kilometers. And the uh, air. 162, 162 nautical miles. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. 300, now, 300. Yes. It also acts as the drone's heart, where it's going to send back all the um, key data, you know, to the avionics and the mechanical systems. So this thing, they, they, you know, when you talk about the redundancy, 
we've watched this thing grow up here <laughs> from oh, when yeah, it had absolutely. its first flight certification, when it yeah. got its first flight certification till now, it's a fully viable bird that can actually just be ready to now go and make these these missions. Yeah, your yeah, thousand pounds covers a, a lot of stuff depending on what you're transporting. It could be so, one piece of metal that's 800 and something. So I don't pounds, know if Furball but... Kim is watching, but now, yes, they got something that can deliver your bowling ball. <laughs> that's right. He, 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 was, he was under the impression that they wouldn't be able to deliver a bowling ball, right? There was something funny going on with that. Yeah, and he was time, always, they'll never be able to deliver a bowling ball. But yeah, that that this is uh, the Nuva V three hundred cargo drone. It's made by Pipistrel. You know they've been around for a minute making uh, electric aircraft. They have a lot of uh, electric airplanes out there. Manned aircraft. Yeah, with airworthiness certifications. Mm -hmm. A slew of them. Yep. Matter of fact, AUVSI talks about them all the time in some of their uh, publications. They actually they've been have, uh, they've been leaders in the space. Now, yeah, they actually uh, have a, the last a, five six years. A commercial that runs on air on our uh, YouTube on uh, whenever you tune in. Uh, was that Arrow News? Yeah. But that's uh, that was the stories that I had for you tonight. Oh, good. So, anyway, don't forget, guys, leave your comments on the comment section below, not in the chat. Leave your comments. Anything that it says congratulations, you can pick for one of the items to give away on, on the giveaway. I mean, it's not as nice and lavish as, as Lawrence's flight stack, but it's a few little oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> so stop. Headphones for anyone who's interested. Listen, giveaway means giveaway. Boom mic here and no drone, no no Phantom 4 Pro, so don't even, <laughs> don't even ask. Don't Before recovery one it. gets started. <laughs> when anybody gets in, what about the Phantom? No, recovery drone, recovery drone is right now. Uh, he's lost focus. He's trying to buy a little parcel of land in uh, Scotland so he can be called a lord. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Again, it doesn't get you a better seat on a Delta. Hey, drone like days. It. How are you? Doesn't get him a better seat on what? On a Delta. Flight. Drone days. It, it, it doesn't get you the automatic upgrade to first class. Okay. Just because now. No, now, now your ID says Lord Tom Dowling. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work. It says Lord or Lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a one uh -oh. foot by one foot plot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -mm. So, well, what do you got planned for the rest of the evening? Huh? Well, well, I still have you the rest of the afternoon. afternoon. Me. I know yeah, it, it, it's still early where you are. Yeah, for the rest I of gotta the go afternoon. get something to eat. I've been up since. Four, uh, which okay. when you say four, of course for you it's seven a.m. Right. Well, okay. I did pretty good. I got up. I was supposed to get up at five, and I got up at four thirty. So, mm -hmm. but I'm good because I I took a nap later okay. when I came. You know back. what's what's funny is you know we're gonna go out. We're gonna probably go out and have dinner now. Mm -hmm. You talk about really playing the freaking role of senior citizen here. I'm having oh, dinner at four thirty <laughs> in the afternoon. What's up with that shit? Come you on, see, recovery, man. recovery one says, Jeez. "I guess I have to save some cash." Lord Crawford has a nice ring to it. I'll be, <laughs> watching, the ring. I'll be watching the Bridgertons now. <laughs> <laughs> My wife watches that show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Come on, don't man. can't we get a discount for you? Isn't there a discount code so we can get that one foot plot for eight bucks <laughs> instead of ten? That's funny. <laughs> and are you sure it's ten bucks and not ten quid? Because you know there's a big difference there, okay? Listen. Oh man, you got listen. Welsh Rob is he's got his 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 nephew Pratt players now writing it in crayon on 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 a lambskin. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing deeds out right now. That's some that know. that's that's some scheme by some land baron in Scotland who's got nothing but craggy land, you know, fields of rock that you can't cultivate. He's going to sell you a little bit of rock listen. for a few bucks there. Hey, listen, I got right. If you can go and yeah, remove the, I got, I got, some, I got something in Glendale if you want to buy it by the square foot, man. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, Lawrence, did you did you hear that thing I was asking about yesterday with the news with the guy from out there in Far Rockaway? Nobody. I haven't seen it on the news. I haven't seen I, it. I, I gotta check for that because I'm oh. I'm I'm, I'm well, just yeah. a 1010 dude. And 1010 had a um story on a guy that got arrested and, from um, my town from Far Rockaway. Check this out, Tom. I don't know how he did it. I, I really don't know how he did this. But they busted this guy because he was renting apartments in over 25 buildings throughout New York City, and he does not own the buildings. Now, peep this one. Hold on. He has yeah. had tenants evicted for lack of paying rent, and he is collecting rent money from government agencies. That's how they caught him. After all yeah. these years. Yes. Yes. Now, Herman and I, the conversation Herman and I were having was first, I live out here and I still haven't heard anything about that, that particular bit of news. But how does someone have a building with tenants moving in and out, being and evicted and not know that that apartment's empty or not know they're not or not realize Please. they're not getting money? How from much you want to bet this individual was also selling apartments in the projects? Okay. Probably. There's been several cases. Probably. Where the housing authority's been been schemed out of dollars. Okay, thinking apartments were vacant. Meanwhile, they've been filled for several years because you know by the time the housing authority figures out which day of the week it is. Yeah. So you know, and then you have this guy. Look, we got one word for this guy. He's called the skeleton. Okay, well, life. Oh, yeah. This is a guy who's <laughs> defrauding people, and unfortunately, they're stupid people. Okay, yeah. you don't, don't know, know any you better. Don't know that you don't oh, know that you got apartments that's rented or not rented, <laughs> and it's not yeah, one I'm, building; I'm it's not, several I'm, buildings throughout the city. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you guys, but I'm recovery one's really taking it to the next level. He yeah, says, if you could buy to enough Duke now. to qualify as a Duke, everyone would have to call me your grace, Duke Crawford of California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pushing it. Dude. Well, Rob, you've opened a can of worms. <laughs> you've opened a can of worms. Well, so, next hey, you know, hey, Rob, he's gonna Rob send them an upgrade. Send them an upgrade code, will you? Right. Okay. Next thing you know, Welsh Rob is going to be asking you to take photos of your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, funny. For those of you in, in the chat, make sure you go to Recovery One and hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's relocating. <laughs> it looks like he's about to relocate. Uh, hey, what's up, Michael hey, McReynolds? Michael How are you? What's good, man? See, you didn't miss it. Don't worry about being late. All I said, everybody, if you're interested in winning any of the, well, taking home any of this stuff I got here for next week's show, in the comment section below, uh, not in the chat, just leave a comment, but the comment must contain the word congratulations. And uh, your name could be picked. In the, the comments. In the of comments this below. Stream. This after stream. the show. At, yeah, after the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Speak slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you do and get points deducted for misspellings. Okay. Next week. But then is... again, Lawrence is, does not qualify for the drawing. Oh, well. No, no one in, in, in uh that has any and our affiliates and family affiliates are all... <laughs> affiliated with the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my nephew to join, right? You know that, right? To leave a comment. Is that what it is? So you so you can walk around with the lanyard. Listen, listen. I think I find a use for it, baby. Hey, listen. Bling, I, couldn't, bling. I couldn't win your contest. <laughs> he just nah, automatically I... excluded camera drone um, pilots. Well, well, if, if... it's a very elitist attitude, Herman. That's it's all yeah, I know. Very I elitist. Guys, hear what I hear? What I got to put up with with these two, right? But um, but, but but the offers are only to people you know within you know the United States and Canada because it'll kill me to start sending stuff all over the world. Uh, yeah, Maybe if, if you live outside the continental U.S. in North America, you'll have to arrange <laughs> local pickup. Okay, so 
it'll be a lot more expensive that way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Local yeah. pickup. Local pickup. Yeah. They gotta fly to you, Herman, to pick it up. Okay. <laughs> well, lanyard. I just gave yeah. It I, I, well, I ordered it. Cut your losses. Cut your losses. <laughs> go buy one. <laughs> That's quite all right. What's the giveaway, Welsh Rob? We got to show. We're giving show. away. We're giving away one a mic square foot of off. land. A mic boom. I got some some lanyards. Some lanyards for the it's smart cool. controllers. Or if anyone still flies a Phantom Four Pro, I a night have... filter. The boom here for the mic. You know, for anyone. Yes, yes. You want to hang your mic in the, the air phone, like like the pros do. Here. So if you want to set your own setup and have your mic hanging down and your headphones on, well, only one, you know, one per, you know, entry. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not everybody takes home the whole, uh, the whole stack. Well, Rob says thumbs down for no UK delivery, Herman. I, I bet you he would trade your lanyard for one square foot piece of, uh, we can call him Lord Herman. <laughs> Lord Herman, interesting. Mm. The, the... Doesn't have the same ring to it, right? Nah, I would use my last name. Sounds better. See, yeah. Lord Crawford sounds really good. So, so recovery one. We, you need to keep this going, man. He just gave <laughs> you. He just supported your channel. Now, if you can get Welsh Rob to go out in the backyard or, or a neighbor's yard and take a picture of some land you might buy, <laughs> keep us posted. <laughs> I'm just oh, man. You know, that was a big thing when they were, um, when they closed uh, Yankee Stadium. Oh, they get bricks. Seats. Yeah, they were. Seats and bricks. And the dirt. seats, the dirt. Oh, God. Yeah. You know. <laughs> You know, I got some of the grass, right, Tom, and I put it. <laughs> Rob that's says, that's right. Show us the, show, show like us the stuff we can't win. Well, I, I can show you some stuff you can win, the Welsh Rob. <laughs> Where you going, Lawrence? You leaving already? No, but no, um, man. No, I'm that grass, they were, when, they were, when they were building the new stadium, they were giving away the... You know, Patches of grass to guys that were trying to take it home as souvenirs. Yeah, yeah. There was all types of souvenirs and stuff guys were making out of the out of the stadium in there. You know the tiles for the wall. The right. guy to do the tile cutting. Oh, everything. Oh, he yeah. was cutting the NY out of the tiles for the for the stadium and giving out to guys that were working on the job. <laughs> I have a NY made out of the tile. Inside there, the grass was outside. I just I can't be bothered with that anymore. It grows too damn fast. I actually know someone who has two seats <laughs> from Yankee Stadium, but he's a big baseball buff, and he's more of a St. John's College basketball collector too. But uh -huh. he has a lot of baseball memorabilia, and he lives out on an island. And he he has two seats from Yankee Stadium before they took it down. Okay. He doesn't let anyone sit in them. He keeps it plastic over it. I'm like, okay, but but he collects a lot of stuff. Right. A lot of the that stuff he buys is mint. If I win a land yard recovery one drone, I'll swap it for you for a plot of Scottish land. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <messed> stuff. Uh, <laughs> he's selling out pieces of your backyard. <laughs> Welsh Rob. You're going to back what's, what's going you can, on? Man? You can record it, Welsh Rob. Go in the backyard with, with the shovel, shove, put it in a jar, and mail it to him. It might be a way to raise some money for that next DJI drone. Mm -mm. <laughs> right? You see him now going on a piece of Scotland the... right here. Too hey, much Marcel. Going down to the city people telling him that he's selling portions of his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> right? I can see right now, Welsh Rob's doing a live stream. They kick his door in for selling Scottish land to, to the Americans. Without a license? <laughs> Without a license or permit. <laughs> you know what that means, right? Welsh Rob, if I buy a, por a portion of the backyard, you got to play ball on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Come on my land, man. Have right. you arrested. 
right? <laughs> and each hole that you dig out, you put recovery one, this hole right here, Herman, this hole right here, Lawrence. It'll be little flags, little, little right, right, right. You have right. to come flags. up with your coat of arms, Herman, he'd so you can stick it in the ground. He'd be tiptoeing toward to his backyard. They'd also have to create a family crest. Well, that's <laughs> that's his coat of arms. That's his yeah, coat of arms. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could, I could imagine. You guys are dangerous. <laughs> well, no, but um, yeah, I just like I said, on the comment section below, guys, just leave your comments. It must contain the word congratulations. After the live stream, yes, after the live stream, down below in the comment section, leave a comment. So if you scroll sure it says all congratulations. the way down, you'll see the <laughs> comment section. It's down below the. Uh, where it says here, uh, where it got the title and the description and everything. Yeah. Scroll down to the bottom. Can't miss it. So it's it'll it'll there. take a little while for YouTube to put to put the live stream up, but soon as it's up, you'll be able to comment. And and be able to comment. You have to have the word congratulations in some way, shape. No, you have to have the words congratulations because if I say some way, shape, or form, it'll be in different languages. Go backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Selling land that isn't even yours, eh? Yeah, Welsh Rob. <laughs> He's trying to get the money for that 2S. <laughs> That's one well, you way know to do, do it. You know what he can do? He can contact the guy out there <laughs> in, in your neck of the woods that made himself a millionaire. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? <laughs> right? The, the guy from my town to show you how to do it. Sell exactly. land and... And apartments that don't belong to you. That don't belong to you. Making and all this actually, money, and the landlords of these places are the ones doing all of the maintenance work and everything for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine painting the apartments, everything? And don't nobody know. <laughs> People going down to the office, putting in a ticket to have the sink re the sink redone or fixed, <laughs> and and this guy's collecting all the rent money. <laughs> It, it's a strange story. I still oh, haven't heard man. anything about it. And I've heard stories of people selling other people's homes with false right. documents and stuff like that because, you know, all the information on your home is public knowledge. You know, it's public record right. downtown. Right. You can find out anything about anyone's home, for sure. You know, when I, you know I've heard it all. Uh, the problem is there's something called title theft, where yeah. people go in and steal people's titles for their home and change them and re-register the homes and then People try to go and sell their home and realize they don't own it. Mm -hmm. Somebody, uh, they had a story in Law and Order about their title. Yeah, yeah, they had a story in Law and Order about that. The guy bought his home when he came home from the war. And his old man raised his kids and everything in that home. They all went out and they had their own families. And he went and found out that some guy sold his house right from underneath him. Didn't didn't know what to do. That's messed up. You go to go to war, come home, your house is. No, 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 no. He went to war, bought the home after he came home from the war years oh. ago. And he raised his, all his kids there. He raised his whole family there. Oh, Life oh. passed away. It's just him. And some guy, just like I said, you know, being is that all that stuff is, you know, public record. The guy did some, like Tom saying, false, you know, stuff with his the guy's home, title him, and sold the right. guy's home. Hmm, that's interesting. He only asked me a question. Don't bring me into your your dog your dodgy deals, Phantom Flight 101. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Asked you, ask you what? Uh, uh, recovery one, I laugh because he says he's working on his family crest now. Okay. <laughs> crazy. No, but um, yeah, so the old man, you know. The old man found out who it was that did it, and he, he shot the guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just as just just desserts. What is he going to do? He already lost his own. True. The old man would have shot him. Yeah, that that, that is kind of messed up, though. It really is. And what can you do? Walk away. Is <laughs> the DA? Uh, well, <laughs> the DA hears that story. Just walk away. <laughs> hey, well, Rob, I expect on your next live stream to be selling plots of land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be there. 
All right. But Herman said you can't play ball over his. <laughs> well, you can't mess up my yard like that. Well, yeah. You want to, you want to trample See, you then you can the charge a, ma a maintenance fee, Rob. Could you imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> I buy the, the land from, from he wants me to pay maintenance. You don't pay so maintenance. He, so he you're, can part of the, you're part of the grass doesn't get watered or cut. <laughs> <laughs> And Rob can go look, these American slumlords. Yeah, just be a one <laughs> cylinder of dirt growing sky high, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he asked me about the Lord. Now you guys got me selling the UK. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we saw an opportunity and we we jumped on it. Uh, That's uh, all. But don't forget, next Wednesday is Herman's 100th stream. So we'll probably do a drop in a shot. Or a couple of drops in a few shots, oh, and yeah. um, you know, find something. He's giving away some headphones, a boom mic stand, um, two, two lanyards. lanyards, and if you own a Phantom Four Pro or Advanced, Ooh. this night filter would fit on that bird. Just in case you guys wanted to know, you know, and the big one inch sensor body. Yes, yes, yes. So. We'll see how it goes, but after the live stream, after the live stream, I repeat, after the live stream, you have to leave a comment with some sentence with the word congratulations in it. In this not congrats, below. Not con congrats or congratulations spelled backwards. It's got to be, it's got to be <laughs> legible, unless you really are dyslexic. <laughs> well. In which case, when you type it, look in the mirror. You know that, that doesn't works. help? Huh? That doesn't help. I know, but I figured I'd throw it in there. What does help sometimes if you turn it to the side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that does help. Like, if you off, like, off, off, you know. All right. What's happening next? Well, that, I told you, was the end of the, the uh, stories that I had for the night. We were just going to go squirrel from here on and just talk about different things. If you had anything else, or FPV, girl, you'd have FPV man over there. Well, I just threw up my link girl. from my uh, video that's coming out at the after the live stream. Oh, yeah. Tonight, don't so. forget. Yeah, I threw oh, up. Yes. I've got yeah. a video coming up. Check out Lens live Capture. Stream. Still working on some throttle control there, so bear with me. But uh, okay. I had a blast, as you'll see. It's premiering at 7 p.m. All right, see. How they said, don't it. forget to check it. Copy this <laughs> and then go back. And now I have it. <coughs> Excuse me, so I can right click and, and paste. You, sh you should be subscribed and get the bell on the. On the... I am subscribed. Okay. I am. I am. It just doesn't have me subscribe to you on this page. Every time I come here, it tells me I have to subscribe to you. Oh, that's how I go now? Which I don't understand. Me? But, huh? You're not subscribed to my channel? I am. Every week that I click the button. Okay. <laughs> it's becoming a weekly thing. <laughs> I'll start charging you for clicking. Wow. Hey, that's <laughs> a, mm, <laughs> this guy here. He's gonna start charging me. Yeah, I'm like every week I gotta click subscribe on your on your page. I don't understand that. Oh well, you know what? When you, you said it, congratulations backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel got jokes. Did you put it backwards and Jack? again, Marcel? And again, Marcel in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, you still out of run, man. Down below in the comment section, right in the chat. He did. But, he uh, put it down below his last, uh, his last chat. Yeah. Well, we got we got eight <laughs> minutes left. We, we're but, doing uh, pretty good here, Lawrence. The, um, the whole idea of that, you know, that filter. I really believe that they wanted people the heat on. to fly during twilight with that. So as you still got a lot of the. The colors in the sky. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, you brought up Twilight. So, 107 pilots, by the way. Uh, you know, the new rules have taken effect. And uh, flying at night is now legal. 
Uh, but you better learn the rules. And plus, for recurrent, so to recertify for 107 is no longer a test and there's no longer a fee. You'll go through training every two years. Not, and it will contain a short quiz to ensure you retain the information. Now, if you're just going for your first 107, you'll have to go through the vendor PSI. You know, you'll have to actually take an on-site proctored exam. But for 107 pilots, recertifying, no more. You'll go up to the FAA site. I don't have the ACC number, the actual uh, mm. uh, document number, but it should be released or should be on there very soon if it's not already up there. Uh, okay. But in the coming weeks, you'll be able to take your additional training and maintain your current uh, status as a 107 flyer. Okay. I wonder if that had anything to do with, I got a email from Jason, you know, guys from uh, Remote Pilot. I got to check out. Okay. Wait, are you you're doing it wrong, Wells Rob? Well, <laughs> what is Wells Rob so, now? I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're in the chat. Wells Rob just put a bunch what, of letters. What is he selling now? <laughs> <laughs> He's selling the water too? Right. Right. I can see him now. <laughs> He's probably got poor Pratt players in the backyard now digging holes, <laughs> filling <laughs> jars. The jars, little, the little jars of water. Yeah, I could see him now. I'm selling got Mojave a, Desert sand. If we got a few yanks over here that want to purchase now. <laughs> okay. I'll sell you a jar of Mojave Desert sand. You can say you own hey, hey. sand from the lowest place on the in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, right. There's only one thing. And How if you, you search through? through it well enough, you might find a, some tumbleweed in it and, and, and spider legs and whatever else decomposed out there. <laughs> <laughs> Small dried snake skin. Yeah, right? <laughs> it don't matter. Can't enter anyway. That was Rob goes. <laughs> Here we go. He's going to rub it. He's going to rub it in. That's all right. Mm -hmm. We're... We're four minutes away from. from Don't worry, Rob. If you, if you did enter and you want, I get Lawrence and send it to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Well, if we could smuggle it across to, to Canada, and have someone walk it across the straits, <laughs> it may so get still to the winter. I still don't understand why there's not places here in the States. You just hurl it over the fence in the Canada and let somebody go get it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be a spot it, it's somewhere along the line right yeah just hurl it over so you know there's a few places in the US in order to get to them you have to go through Canada <laughs> okay. we got a couple of spots turn do like, it was it Michigan I believe where you hmm. actually have to go through Canada to get into that town in the US hmm. so well, that, that's okay for me. We got four minutes to go. I know out where Paul is. Paul can look into uh, Canada. Yeah, that's true. He can look across the water. That's Canada, right there where Paul flies. That little straight. <laughs> they they'd be tired of me. There's that American drone again. Did <laughs> <laughs> you buzz through the Canadian side? Oh no, just close enough to look. As long as I don't cross over, they can't, they shouldn't touch me. <laughs> can we can can really tell how much you appreciate us staying up late twice a week for your for you guys? <laughs> oh, we appreciate everyone that comes that comes to the show. We appreciate everyone that comes and hangs out here. Oh, places in Montana you can walk across the street and be in Canada. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hey, what's up, Mike? How are you, man? Hmm. Well, That's we right. appreciate you coming in, man. Right we just went squirrel for the last 10 15, minutes of the live stream, 15, killing some time. Say what you mean, 15 minutes. Hey, I was trying to be nice about it. See? Hey, see? 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 That's 15 minutes. I still need to find out what I need to do to get this audio right. 
Well, we'll figure but it out. We'll at least, test at least the mic sounds cleaner. I mean, Sunday we could do a, a test on your um side, and I then we could also echo. figure out if we could fix the Zoom thing too. Oh, that's feedback. Hold but, it. Um, it's there about that time for us to start. Echo. To you got an echo now? No, I'm playing around with the. I'm playing around with it. That's all. It is that time. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. It's about that time for us to get out of here. Three. You know, you and Tom always come in and help uh, help me out with this Wednesday night thing here. But, you know, that's what makes us those guys. So, Absolutely. Hey, Tom, yeah, really quick. For hanging out Tom, tonight. Tom, yeah. yeah. you're coming back in April. You're, in April. You're coming back shortly, right? In, in uh, several weeks, yeah. Okay, because um, we need to get together and... and Make a new those guys logo, logo picture or thumbnail, you know, <laughs> something without having to cut and paste all. If we could all be there, actually, that sure. would be a nice. That would be nice. Yeah, towards the end of the month. Okay, oh, cool, cool. Let, just let us know, and we'll Let's arrange it to get together, and, and and go by Herman or someplace or something. We j I just want a new sure. thumbnail to to put up well, we got go going into the new. Year into the new year as well yeah. all right it's that time roger just went live yeah it is that time to get out of here so thank you guys for hanging out tonight and i'd like to thank all you guys in the chat for coming and hanging out with us but without you none of this would be possible and i hope to see you guys enter the contest for next week of our 100th episode of wednesday night with those guys you guys want to say anything we no, appreciate just, uh, you all. Stay safe, folks. Be safe. Appreciate fly safer. Here. Hit that thumbs up button and check out my video after the uh, stream is over. Appreciate That's it. Right. Tom's video just dropped. Good night, right. guys. And with that, I'd say good night to everyone. And I'll see you next time on Phantom Flight 101 with those guys. Take care, all. Good night. <laughs>